Hey, you guys. I am Adolfo Fronda of NerdStalker, at NerdStalker on Twitter, uh, nerdstalker.com. You can see all our demos and information and stuff. Uh, please subscribe and follow us on YouTube as well. Give us a thumbs up. Okay, so everyone's talking about mind maps nowadays, but mind map applications tend to be really expensive, uh, especially on the Mac or, or your particular computer. Um, cheapest I found is $30 for MindNode. Uh, other sort of solutions have a monthly subscription fee. I used to use a Mind Manager, I believe MindJet's Mind Manager, which was a fantastic application, but it's really expensive. Um, and it seems to me like a commodity, this uh, mind mapping feature. Uh, I'm surprised that it's just not added on to different types of, I don't know, your typical office type of application or, or feature, you know. And um, so anyways, I found this, it's called Mind Maps. Uh, the URL is drrichard.org forward slash mind maps, and it's free totally free and you can do all kinds of amazing stuff with it uh and for free you just you really can't beat it right um so let's begin right uh your typical central idea uh and so you can up here you see an add delete undo redo copy cut and paste uh feature and at first i thought oh i gotta use these buttons every time and it adds a node as you would expect but if you hover over these buttons it shows you the keyboard shortcuts uh, creates a new a new node. You hit tab, uh, deletes the delete button, and undoes Control Z, Control C, and Control you know and pastes Control V, whatever you know, like you would expect. Um, but I'm just ripping through these, you know, tabbing, tabbing. Um, so it just kind of you don't have control over the flow. It's like if you wanted to go top down, top left, or uh, center left, or whatever. Uh, at least that I've been able to figure out. But again, this is a free open source uh, solution. So I'm not complaining because it works wonderfully um, for that price. Uh, you get these type of type of uh, overlay sometime, which is not ideal, right? Some other applications know better than to do that. Again, free, perhaps this is something that will be fixed in the future and an easy fix. And again, with this tabbing, you know, quick keyboard, you can just rip through these, your ideation process really quickly or, or whatever you're using this for. Now, some other features you have are font, increasing font size, decreasing, bolding, you know, your typical type of formatting stuff, italicizing, underlining, uh, strike through. Uh, you can change font colors. It's red, as you can see here. Uh, you can change your branch colors or you can inherit, make the branch, you know, uniform or whatever. Uh, you have an inspector, which is really nice. If your mind map gets really huge, um, then then you can you know traverse your find your way around. You see, like so. And um, what's really cool too is you know i saving it. You can save this file. It's a JSON file for those of you that are more technically inclined, or just you know think of it as a file on your machine if you want. So new, open. If you have pre-existing ones, save, export. You can export it as an image, print it or close. Um, so I'm going to click Save, and you'll see the different features here. You can even save it in the cloud. So it integrates with a lot of different ones, Google, Google Drive, Dropbox, and more, which is amazing, powered by FilePicker.io. That feature, you could uh, save it locally through your browser's local storage, which I, I do not recommend, or to a file right on your computer, which is awesome. So let's do that right now. Save. And we'll call this one central idea or whatever you want it. It's going to just go in my documents folder. You can see that it's a JSON format. And I click Save. And I did a previous example of this. Yes, let's replace it right now. Cool. Let's say we close this particular tab. Let's open another one and close this guy. Oops. Uh, do you want to leave it? So it prompts you. That's kind of nice, too, in case you don't want to leave and, and you've got unsafe stuff. So we leave and OK. And so let's just go to mind maps again. Here we are, drrichard.org forward slash mind maps. And this is all web based, this is all browser. I'm doing this in Chrome on a Mac right now. Um, and then if I just click file open, right? And I just look, browse for the file that's on my machine. There it is, central idea. And I just open this JSON file and boom, there we go right where we left off. Isn't that, isn't that fantastic? I love this. Um, so again, totally free, mad props to uh, drrichard.org forward slash my mad or drrichard.org. Uh, you can look up uh, this individual who created this. Let's see, I believe um, about my maps. 
<coughs> excuse me. Uh, yeah. So you can send uh, feedback to the individual who created this. Uh, there you go. It's a GPL license. Uh, David Richard is the individual it looks like. Um, and on Git, we can click, let's click the Git link here. So you can contribute to, to this uh, project here on uh, GitHub. And it's amazing. I highly recommend that you support the project if you are a developer and help out. If not, pff, use it to your heart's content. It's free and it's fantastic. I highly recommend it. I mean, you can't, again, I'm going to say free 100 times in this demo. You can't beat that price. And for what you get, it's, it's just wonderful. So give it a try. It does you no harm to give it a go. A lot of fun. Um, and check it out. Again, my name is Adolfo Ferranda. Check us out at nerdstalker.com or at nerdstalker on Twitter. Uh, check us out on the YouTube channel. Like I said, Nerdstalker TV. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. And that'd be wonderful. All right. See you next time. Thanks a lot.